Okay, thoughts? I think he looks really good. He excites me. Uh, he's a bit more of an attacking midfielder, although he wears number he was wearing number nine for Barcelona B, which kind of throws you a little bit when you're watching those YouTube videos. False nine. Yeah, but he <laughs> pops up left wing, he scored loads of goals from the left wing, he scored a couple of goals from the right, got into the centre, got space in the box. He looks like a really exciting player. Mm -hmm. um, I worry where he's gonna fit in unless he's just literally gonna cover for people while he's young. Yeah, uh, he's obviously not gonna be a first team player, I don't think. Well again, he's twenty yeah, he's twenty years old, I believe, or he's there or thereabouts that, that age. So he, he's gonna be you're talking first team squad there, you don't you're not buying twenty year olds to go and sit and sit in the res, he's already at the academy, are you? Yeah, it looks it looks promising. I mean I think his finishing looked outstanding. He got apparently 11 goals in 21 league appearances in the the, single, the division all, all told. So obviously treat that treat that how you will. Uh, you know the promising. Uh, again, I don't know. I don't know enough about Spanish football to be able to say is dropping that is it. Is that the equivalent of someone going down to the championship and really good? Because I, I imagine it's nowhere near as good as the championship. Well, this is my thinking: is that like let's for news for, uh, for example, let's let's say Man City or someone like that loan someone down to a, a decent side. I mean, Barcelona be finished about ninth in second division last season. So, you know, essentially a mid-table first division side, and he has a good season. Would you be thinking, amazing, he's going to improve our first team? No, but equally the the age thing definitely is in his favour, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Um, so one of my mates mentioned to us a couple of weeks ago, like to, to look at him because he's he thinks he's, he's seen him a lot, like, and he said he is a top player, like so. He's well, got the potential to be a top player. Well, he's, I think he's, again going going off off Wikipedia, he's got five and seven for in, in, in severe apparently. When that's uh, treat Wikipedia with a with a pinch of salt. Uh, he's a Spanish under twenty one, although he's only got one cap, obviously owned by Sevilla. Owned by Sevilla. Uh, we've Again, apparently reportedly offered five million with Sevilla. Again, reportedly wanting it to be up to eight, which is mainly I think add-ons. So yeah. again, reasonable. Like uh, that'll be caps for Spain and stuff like that. Won't yeah, it? And he does look exciting. The thing is, again, I don't, I don't mind that. Just with it, with him spending five to up to eight million pounds for an attacking midfielder is, I think, is less of a gamble in some respects than paying eight. If we paid eight million pounds for a centre half. That's we've basically broken our, work, our transfer record for the for the yeah, centre back for a twenty or six million something like that. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, okay. Let us know your thoughts on uh, Luis Alberto. Do you think Liverpool should sign him? Have you seen any of him playing for Barca B? Did you see him playing for Sevilla? Does he excite you? I know a lot of people seem to be buzzing about that. Let us know in the comment section. Underneath. Uh, okay, we're going to move on next on our hit list this week. And last, of course, is uh, <laughs> the Mad Greek Kyriakos Papadopoulos. Yeah, so stay tuned for that. 